All right, YouTube, so today we're working on 2015 GMC Canyon, same thing as the Chevy Colorado. Uh, basically, the issue we got going on with this truck right here is that the four-wheel drive is not engaging reliably. Uh, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it does not. Uh, when it doesn't go in, we get a service four-wheel drive light or indicator on the dashboard. So we're gonna fix it today. Basically, in short, what we think it is is the uh, front drive shaft actuator. This goes right up in the front drive shaft. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get underneath there, take the skid plate off and grab some pliers to pinch it, uh, pinch the old one right there and to just simply twist it out and put the new one in. We're hoping that this solves our problem. If not, we'll be on to the next one. There'll be another video. So what you're gonna to need to do the job, uh, obviously the replacement part, I'll leave the link where I got my cheap one on Amazon in the description below. A rusty pair of channel locks, uh, an impact gun, or uh, a long wrench, and a 15 millimeter socket. Um, you might need more depending on what you have underneath your truck. My truck already has the plastic skid, sh uh, skid plate removed. Now I just need to remove these metal ones right there. And where this new actuator is, or where this old actuator is that we're going to take out, is underneath here. You don't even really need to jack up the truck. And there, there it is right there. Not sure if you can see it. The lighting's pretty bad, but it's right there on the inside of, of this thing. There it is. You can see it much better now. Uh, this one's pretty dirty. The rest of the truck isn't um, that dirty underneath it pretty good so you know maybe this guy drove through some mud and and it got mucked up so anyways you're gonna want to take the connector off take this uh metal skid plate off and then grab hold of some channel locks and just spin it out all right so let me tell you what i did here um got the channel locks on this thing spun it around a few times so that i can get better access to the clip now this clip was caked in mud, hopefully yours is not. Um, what I had to do is, you see this red tab right there near my index finger, you pop that out and then you push down on it to uh, get it out. I had to get a flathead screwdriver and you can see the tab on the inside of this clip. I had to help that up and over the tab right here on the actual unit. I bet you what happened here, this guy rolled this thing in through the mud and this connection or this thing got, the actuator got wet when it wasn't supposed to or cause it wasn't screwed in very tight either. And now the four wheel drive doesn't work reliably. So I'm gonna switch this out. Hopefully this solves my problem. If it does, then I'll move on to changing the fluid in the diff here. Okay, so here's the old part. Um, it's got a four pin connector looks almost exactly like the new part um i saw this stuff uh i don't know what it is some kind of sealant for the gear oil and everything i was gonna wrap this in uh teflon tape on the new one anyways looks exactly the same side by side and then i flip over and see that i got a different pin connection so this one looks like it's a five pin different shape and this one is a four pin obviously a different shape so i got the wrong part thankfully i checked it before wasting any time and money so i ended up getting the right part at the auto parts store and the four-wheel drive works just fine